So you're just starting Dyson Sphere program, you're trying to get the belts to just go over each other so they're not intersecting and you're not junking up your belts with the wrong, you know, materials. Hey guys, thank you so much and welcome to Dragonmore Gaming. I'm Daniel, aka Dragonmore, and wanted to switch up the format and uh, try to answer some questions that I've seen, uh, you know, on Reddit. Uh, and just really try to help out other guys, the other gamers that are looking to, to play Dyson Sphere program. So, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll call this segment uh, Ask a Dragon, right? So, Dragon more. Okay. Uh, so, let's get into it. So, the, uh, the question uh, that I see on Reddit is, uh, you know, can I make conveyor belts go over one another? Uh, so, this uh, from CSCW on Reddit who asks, uh, you know, very new to the game and can't for the life of me plan anything useful because I can't figure out how to raise conveyor belts and have or have multiple connections leading to one place. Okay, I've seen screenshots here of people doing this and other things, but I don't know how. Help? Uh, so I wanted to make this uh, for you, CSCW, and uh, and for those that are just, you know, getting into the game and really want to, like, learn how all this works. So I guess, uh, so let's flip over and just uh, show you here in the game. So this will be, uh, yeah, my game, so it's a little bit further along, but I'm going to try to use the uh, the intro materials here. And uh, here we go. So take your belts, right? And so you know, you just you know left click, drag your belts, and okay. I have a few more drones, maybe, but if you hit X and hold Shift, you can delete things really fast. That's a nice little tip. But if you want to have things you know vertical up and down, all you have to do is you start, um, yeah, left click, and as you drag you can hit the up arrow key and it'll make the belts go up. And the same way that you can have it continue on and you can have it hit the down arrow key and it'll go down. And you'll notice that you have to make sure that there's enough room for it to flatten out before it actually will turn if you want it to turn. Okay, so this is an easy way if you want, if you have multiple goods. Now you can see I've, you know, it's on the ground level so if I do this, you'll see it's actually going under. So that's just the simple way, just using the up and down arrow keys to have things go up and over. Now, the problem, and maybe, you know, maybe what you're asking also, and what I've seen other people have issues with, is uh, if you want to try to connect uh, to a belt, or you're trying to get around a belt uh, that's already going somewhere, so you're like, I want this to be on top of this belt, you know, how do I do that? So, you know, like, if, if you hit the up arrow, like I've hit the up arrow twice, but it still shows that it collides, right? So, but if I if I move off, you can see, okay, well, now it's showing it's it's the correct thing. So like if I do it way out here, maybe that's okay, but if I want it to go somewhere over here, you know, if, if you're hitting the, if you're moused over a belt, it doesn't work. And when you have a lot of belts, this gets unfortunate. So the easy thing that you can do uh, shows on the right, the, the uh, so it doesn't really tell you what it means, but holding shift, so it does not snap. So if you hold down shift, it doesn't matter where you put the mouse, it doesn't snap to the other belts. So I just hover over any of the belts, but as long as I'm still holding shift, bam, now I can build over top of anything and they don't intersect. So that's that's the definite thing that I use that all the time. So if you're having a lot of issues trying to get things tight in your base, uh, I would definitely hold down the, the shift key uh, to get that working. So you can see, instead of snapping to different things, now, I use this, especially this tip, when you're doing like these huge factory buses of like, you know, smelters or something, right? You just have like, I'll give you an example, just a gazillion smelters going out, right? And uh, I have done things where I do so many smelters in a line that the belt isn't fast enough, right? Especially in the early game when you're using the uh, these Mark I belts, they only carry six a second, right? So this is more than six smelters, right? And just to give you even more of a thing. So only the first six will get the goods if you're just using these little Mark 1s. But a little tip that I like to do is if you have the belts coming in and the first six will get the goods and then what you do, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So you delete one of the belts right there. And so again, just imagine that there's sorters going in. I'll just place them just so you can see. You know, I can just shift click this stuff. That's a nice little tip too. Now that you can copy sorters, this is so much easier. Okay. And what you do is you have another belt of the goods coming in. So say that there's a belt going in here and I have another belt 
and I'm going to use the up arrow, raise it over top. And again, you don't want it to snap. You're like, okay, I want it to snap here, right? I want the second belt here. Again, hold down shift so it doesn't snap and do it like right over the last belt. And then just left click here and it'll snap to it. So now you have the same goods going in and these first smelters will get all the stuff that it needs. And then the second belt comes in and just dumps right over top of it and then now lines up perfectly with these belts. Okay, so there you go. So that's uh, that's how you can get you know much closer in on your base and uh, uh, you know having those belts going over top of each other. Uh, so the other question about merging. Uh, so there's a few different things about merging. I'm going to show you. So say we have the output of all these goods now. Let me get rid of that. I'm trying to use just Mark One belts. Okay. So I have a whole bunch of belts and I have a whole bunch of stuff like over here that I want to come and just give represent. I got some stuff here and maybe I got some stuff here. So I don't recommend doing it this way. I'll do maybe another video if you guys want to see as far as like how I do my factory setups. But let's just assume that you have this represents some goods that are coming this way. Let me do mark ones just because. And I have stuff coming this way. So the, the first and the easy way that, I mean, uh, so trying to answer your question, you know, belts, you know, if you've played other games like Factorio, you, what, it's very simple that you just, you merge the belts by just clicking on one and just having it run into the other one. And so that's what it looks like. So even if it doesn't look necessarily correct, you know, depending on, you're like, okay, is that, is that working? It just dead ends, but it does, it does work now just to, give kind of a quick example here. So I'll put down a little box and a little sorter. And then let's put some stone in there. Oh boy, and we need power. There we go. Look. Of course it's dark, right? So this, this is gonna barely work, but that's fine. So you can actually see the stuff coming out. Now let's use something more visible like titanium. Okay, so you can see that the uh, the stuff comes out, and uh, yeah, it just merges on the, the belt, and it'll just carry it along. Now, if there's other goods coming from another direction, they'll just uh, they'll merge together, right? So uh, just to show you this way, I have another one here. I have some temporary power over here. Okay. So you can see it's kind of it's getting backed up, right? I just ended the belt over here, uh, and then it'll get backed up. Now, if I do the same thing, but this time, let me. Uh, oh, and this is another trick I I didn't even realize too. Just so you click on a belt and it shows you the good. If you right hold down right click, it just constantly picks up the stuff off the belt. So if you're in dire need of stuff uh, and it's on your belt and you don't know how to get it. I see a single left click and then just hold down right click and it just pulls everything off the belt. So that's cool. I didn't realize that till recently. I've been playing for a while, so that you never know. Okay, so we're gonna put some more stuff in here and you can see, okay, well it's merging. That's awesome. So what happens if there is two belts trying to merge all together? So you can see the, uh, yeah, it'll just find room and whatever the belt is that's on like the that's coming in at the diagonal, it gets the uh, it gets lower priority. Whatever is like on the straightaway, that's when it gets priority. Just to kind of show you here again. So you can see it only moves if there's room. So I can just slowly take this way. And I'll just let this fill up just you know, just so you can see it more clearly. So this one gets backed up, and if you just start pulling this belt, again, the, the second belt doesn't get to deposit anything until there's a gap. So uh, so if you play like Satisfactory, I, I really like Satisfactory is another uh, great example, but uh, that one you actually have to use a separate item called a merger to actually merge different belts together. So not in this game. So in Dyson Sphere Program, you can just run belts into each other, uh, and it works perfectly. And just uh, for demonstration, you can... Uh, yeah, if you have belts in the air, right? So this is a up arrow, have this in the air. 
I mean, you can do the same thing. There's no penalty, there's no difference. You can run belts together right in the air. And then if you do the same thing, all right, well, there we go. And if you run it into a T, it does the same thing. It just, you know, tries to prioritize what, uh, you know, the straight belt first and anything that comes in separately. Uh, just whenever there's a gap, it'll try to fill it. So, uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's how you do the, the merging of belts. So if you have any questions on that, definitely let me know. And uh, so I hope this has been helpful. Uh, CSCW as far as you know, trying to have the belts go up and over each other and uh, having you know the same goods kind of merge into each other. You just you know, very simply just run the belts into each other. But if there's a specific question on that, yeah, let me know. Uh, so guys, I'll, that'll do it for this video. So I hope this has been helpful. Hope this has been informative. So for those of you just starting out in Dyson Sphere program, uh, you know, it's definitely a lot of fun, especially if you play like Factorio or uh, you know Satisfactory. This one, this one's fantastic. So, uh, so guys, that'll do it for me. And uh, so again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. So thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.